Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you and before I do so, I am just loving my DIY covers here and if you did not get to see how I did this, I will link it up in the corner in the iCart, so go ahead and check it out. So guys, we are going to be planning out the week of May 1st through the 7th. Yes, May. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to be using this kit. And can we talk about how pretty this sticker is? Oh, gorgeous. I hauled this kit before. And I'm going to go ahead and put this also on the iCart on top. Go ahead and check it out. This is what the kit consists of. I love this washi. I love the colors in this. I mean, I just love this kit in general. Except maybe for one thing, it did not come with glitter headers. So a kit this beautiful needs to have some glitter, right? Right. So on that note, I actually printed out this here from my planner Envy. And I'm going to be using two of the colors on here. Let me show you by taking out the washi. I'm definitely taking this one here and of that one there. I'm also bringing in a third color from my own that I did last year and is this nice beautiful magenta and perfect with that flower. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just go ahead and move this out the way so we can start planning. So while I lay down these glitter headers, did anyone go to Erin Condren's pre-sale um, of the new life planners? I did, my hands up, I did, I did, and yeah, I was clicking through everything, I was putting things on the cart, and then I said, no, I'm not going to finish this transaction. <laughs> um, one, because the price just blew me away, how everything, even a coil is $10 extra to get a certain cover is $10 extra, and I'm like, okay, this is just being too extra, you know what I mean? So... I'm like, no, I'm not going to do this. But I'm also in a bind because there's no more recollection planners. They took them all off the shelf because of this lawsuit. So now I'm stuck with no planner for next year. I'm going to go ahead and um, put down the washi. So I'm thinking, unless Michael's come out with another coil bound planner for next year, I'm going to have to go and bite the bullet and purchase a life planner. I'm going to put this double box down and before I do, I'm going to actually go ahead and figure out a way to use my weekend banner as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and get one. So I decided that I would probably most likely purchase the vertical neutral but with a black coil. That one actually called my attention more than the colorful because I don't know what's going on with those petals on the side there I mean I know she's trying to make it seem like they're blowing in the wind whatever a tree in the wind whatever but um yeah I don't like the colors on there because I am one that likes to use a kit when I want to whatever week I want to and not buy the colors. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be stuck using a certain kit just so it can match my page of a certain week. I don't like that. So as you can tell, because I cover up mostly all the colors here. And the only time that I actually buy a kit to match anything of the planner would most likely be the monthly because it looks cuter that way and only because I hate to put down the tedious little date dots. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the full boxes and you will see how indecipherable I was doing this. <laughs> so yeah, that was my experience this morning. I really am going to have to bite the bullet if, like I said, there's no other coil planner for next year. So if you're a recollection planner like I am, are you going to bite the bullet and get Erin uh, Condren? Or are you just going to try something else? I actually was thinking of maybe just purchasing an A5 binder and just get some inserts. Because I could actually, I hate saying that word so much, but I can 
um, justify buying a binder because that's one thing I could use all the time not like the life planner it's just for a year or 18 months whatever and then you're done uh, a binder itself lasts you forever and you could just do as many different inserts as you want I'm gonna go ahead and do my sidebar now so I was thinking that so either I come up with um, dishing out almost $85 for an anachondrian planner for next year or i'd rather dish out that money and use it for an a5 um binder instead so those are the two options that i have or like i said before unless michael's come up with a different coil planner if it's vertical because i hate planning horizontally uh, i don't like it so as you can see here i didn't really have too much option for the sidebar so I'm pulling in from my own um, collection so definitely going to use this one because I need to wash and oil my face because I have so much dry skin that is driving me crazy and of course I have to put down one to keep track of my meds I was going to put one of these down from lit from I'm sorry. I was going to put one of those litter down from Techno Craft, but I changed my mind and I was going to also try to put one of these from my Planet Envy and I also changed my mind and I just used the leftover um, heart check box because I was so indecisive. This was ridiculous this morning. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you already ordered yours or you plan to. Or what are you going to do for next year if you haven't um, purchased a life planner and you're using a recollection like I am. Um, I was also thinking that if I do have to purchase a life planner, I think I'm going to wait till the end of the year and just... Um, purchase it either in November or December because I know by December if there's any new planners gonna come out in Michaels for like coil like this it most likely will definitely come out by either November or December like this one did so I'm giving Michaels enough time <laughs> don't fail me Michaels don't fail me <laughs> so yeah and if not then I probably will get one of the recollection a5 planners and just use those instead so I'm leaning towards that so back to my um, plan with me I was very indecisive today I took out my pen so I could write some stuff but then I just left it there I just put down wash face which really wasn't what I wanted to put I actually changed that to wash slash um, oil face and yeah i just went straight to putting down under littles which in here is called little bits so i'm going to actually use the little trick that i did last week and just put a paper and that way i can line it up so i can build from the bottom up unlike the Aaron condren life planner the recollection planner you have to build from the top to the bottom because there is no boxes surrounding it so you have like um what is that called margins or something to go on it and since there's none in here it's kind of hard to do that but I either put the paper because I'm too lazy to get a, a ruler seriously too lazy to get a ruler out and it's been working fine with me I did the same thing last week and I'm doing it now so I didn't really pre-plan as much um, I had to cancel out a lot of appointments because I didn't want to keep them Basically, my physical therapy, I canceled them out because instead of actually making me feel better, it's definitely hurting me instead, and I don't want to injure my uh, shoulder more than I have to. If you're not, if I don't feel that you're helping me out, then I don't feel the need to keep going. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but if I'm in physical therapy and if I'm not feeling any better, after the last two times that I went, then I won't go. Because all I'm doing is just hurting myself in the long run. And this is like the second time they put me on physical therapy. The first time didn't work at all. So yeah, with that being said, I didn't really have much to pre-plan. Because I just had like two physical therapy appointments here and that's it. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and put down half boxes all the way from Monday through Saturday. And then on Sunday, I put down a three heart checklist for my cleaning. And I did get to design some clean labels, but I'm going to actually do that, if not next week, then the week after. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep my cleaning routine as I have it for now until then. So, yeah. I can't believe Mother's Day is next week. Can you believe that? Already. Yeah, time is going by way too fast. Way too fast. And I think it's because we're planners. And since we're planning out a week at a time, I think that's why the time is flying by. Because the time was not flying by this quickly before I started planning. So I think that's what it is. It's because we're planning. And we're planning out a week at a time. <laughs> so, yeah, this is when you can see that I finished out actually covering everything from the planner. And, and now I'm going to go ahead and put down some little icons like this here. This is supposed to be Coffee Monday. That flag is no longer there. I took it out and it does not look like this anymore. That marquee is still there. But this flag that I put here is no longer there as well. So it's changed because when I was done filming, I actually thought about, wait, I have um, actual wording that says Coffee Monday and um, Laundry Day. And I took it out and I placed it on there. It looks so much better. And I honestly filled it in more because I didn't really fill it in while I was filming. So as you can see, I'm just putting some little deco up here because it felt like it needed something. So yeah, this is how it turned out. Um, I love this double box. Love the colors. Love the washi. I just love it in general. And this is the pen I'm going to use to fill everything out. It's my Frixion pen. Frix I can never say that right. Frixion? Frixion pen. Erasable pen. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And here I'm just showing you what I have left of the kit, which is a lot. Like I have all of these. I have most of these half boxes. Well, quarter half boxes check checklists and then mostly everything on these like I have a lot left over so I'm going to definitely go ahead and do a personal spread with the leftovers so that way they won't go to race waste I can't even speak they won't go to waste because I don't want to be wasteful so yeah I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please go ahead and subscribe down below for more and yeah I have nothing else to say besides I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.